Yo! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. It is turkey season, boys and gals. I've been pumping it up, uh, telling you guys that we were gonna get out here for some turkey hunting, and today is opening day. Shoddy gun, uh-huh. Check it out. I got the old pump Mossberg 500 410. The old Mossyberg looking sexy. I have not used this gun in quite some time. Uh, it is still pretty darn new. I only bought it about two years ago, but I have some uh, federal uh, tungsten TSS that we're going to go and <laughs> hopefully throw through it today. Hopefully we're going to run some shells through this bad boy today. Uh, today, the game plan is, number one, we're headed to public. Uh, we know there's birds on this public. We don't really know exactly where. Uh, we do have some private land that butts up to the public land that we do have permission on that might be holding birds. So today we're really going in blind. Yesterday, Drew and I, we scouted all afternoon. I scouted yesterday morning, found some birds, couldn't get on them, couldn't get the old permission. So a uh, big send today on opener. We're going to try to get it done shooting in the dark, literally going in blind, trying to find birds, spot and stock. You know the drill. But before we get going today, really quickly before we get on the road, yep, the lodge, we are booking clients for the 22-23 waterfowl season. If you are interested in coming here in waterfowl hunting, staying at the lodge, eating Burt's good food, hanging with Preston, Gerald, all of us for three days of hunting, get a hold of me, sandhillflyways.com. It's always linked down in the description. Uh, if you're interested, go on there, fill out the inquire to book form and me and or my lovely wife, Beth, will be getting a hold of you. So, that's my spiel, I'm sticking to it. Let's get on the road, let's go see what Drew's doing. Well, that's camp, hold on, where's the line? Oh, we're past the line. We're past the line, is that, yeah. like that's campground. Yeah, this is campground area right now. Yeah. Well, Where that's we our at? first spot here. Uh, this is my buddy Wade, y'all met Wade again on uh, the coyote hunt. This is my buddy Wade's deer lease, and boy, I have never looked at it. And there's some awesome trees, bunch of tall trees, roost trees. We're just trying to figure out how to get in because it is muddy. I'm gonna have to turn around. We got uh, finally got rain last night. I don't know how much, I would say probably a quarter. Hopefully, we got that. But, um, like I said, we're going in blind today, boys. Going in blind. Oh, there goes the window. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little muddy out there. Yeah. Them meats throw the mud, son. Yeah. You gotta get that stuff back under the fenders, big guy. I know. <laughs> I don't want to put on the fender flares, you know what I mean? If we have to, I'd say we go in along that north fence and just go slow. Just walk in slow. Yeah, go in go in little ways just see if we can get something to gobble, see if they're still whether they're on the rooster or what they're doing yet, you know? Right. I mean it looks like all the trees for the most part are on the north side. And then there's a pretty good open pocket, which is where they maybe could go. Well, there we go. What you rocking there? Show to everybody at home. It's a Benelli. <laughs> it's a beauty. Oh, it's, a, it's actually a Rob Roberts again. Yeah. A Rob Probably Roberts. Lost, Arkansas. Rob, Rob, Rob Roberts 20 gauge. Ooh. Rob Roberts. Rob Roberts TSS. TSS number seven. I'm leaving the gun. Uh, Drew is from Nebraska, as a lot of you already know. And I want him to get his bird on the ground first since he's out of state. And uh, I wouldn't imagine there'd be more than one shooter in here. I say that now. And I, I leave my gun. Part. That's usually the way it goes too. When you leave your gun. We brought three shells, one camera, and one gun. That's not a good sign. <laughs> He's angry. Yeah. Not a good sign. Yeah. All we can do is try. Well, we're finally getting to the end of this property. It's going to open up down here. <sighs> we're going to gonna get a good vantage point. Uh, I am way too overdressed. It rained last night, so I thought it was going to be muddy. But this morning on the way here, man, there was a ton of deer out. 
you can tell calm weather yesterday it, the wind blew like 45 mile an hour and so it's a beautiful morning everything should be out pretty day you yeah. want to uh, mm -hmm. go down this fence or you want to just try to not sure how much further we got we got we're only about halfway no this is the end oh this is it yeah so the see those roost trees over there some good looking roost trees over there. You want to just walk in a little ways and hit them with a call and see if we get a response? Yep. Okay. Gorgeous property. You would think there'd be turkeys. You'd think they'd be coming out here to hang out. Yeah, this is beautiful. This yeah, is this is this is old Strutville right here, baby. Right, Scratch Town. <laughs> That's very not good. Very not good. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Well, Gerald's with us. All three of us going in on public. We have to walk quite a ways. Thank you, sir. Thank you. What are you doing back there, man? Let's see it. Of course, yours is bigger. Oh. Yeah. Where there's one, there are many. Where'd it go? I just right lost it. Your is it? Your oh, they're hard to see. Look at that. Look at that. I'll be darned. Yeah, I'll hold them. Morel mushrooms. Oh, there's a big one back there. Oh, we are in them now, baby. This is got a handful already. Oh, you already got a handful. Got a handful. This is the luxury. It's about not there. finding turkey. Yeah. Morel mushroom hunting. <laughs> They're everywhere. There's a little cluster. Look at this. There's a cluster right here, Bob. <gasps> wow. They're everywhere. Oh, oh, look at all those, there's dude. Right there. right there. There's a ton. Oh my god, look at your hand. I can put it in my hoodie. There's there. Slip them in there. Lunch is served, boys. There's a ton right here. Hey, at least we're in the money somehow, baby. Oh. A little gaggle. Yeah, that's a little gaggle. Not for not expecting to find them. We didn't come out empty handed, baby. <laughs> Counting them. Look, girl's gotta get the kill count. Bad one, bad one. <laughs> Look, he said, hey, man. Dad, gun, we did some work. Didn't do much work on the turkeys yet, but uh, since the last time you've seen us this morning, when uh, Drew and I started, it snowed since then. It snowed since then. It rained and then it turned into snow and yesterday was 86 degrees and then it got down to 32 is what the lowest yeah. I seen this morning was snow. Yeah. How many you got there? 63. 63. Dad has enough gum. For, enough for three fat boys to pick out tonight. You're not kidding. Now we just need some turkey to go with it. Well, that's on you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Still hunting public. Not having any luck. Not yet, anyways. The 
sun's finally coming out though. Birds should start moving. What you find? What is it? Turkey poop? Turkey poop. That's a good sign. afternoon we've been literally going at it all day I don't know how many spots we've walked in on uh, have not seen very many Sp uh, just spotted two hens in front of us about 400 yards um, gonna do a little sneak setup on them hopefully they have a tom with them it's finally getting nice the sun's out the winds finally dying down the birds are coming out this is not public Big shout out to Wade uh, for getting me permission uh, on this piece. We came and coyote hunted a while back and heard some gobblers in here. So we're gonna try to get as close as we can. See if we can make something work here. Cross your fingers, smash your thumbs up button. This is a second bridge. There's another big bridge up there. I'll be darned.
not bowling anymore with her. We thought we heard a cobble. Might have been a Jake. Man. Yeah. Yeah, she got real mad. Well, we're gonna let we're gonna let that bird rest. Come back in a minute, try the decoy out here on this road. Did you find your phone? Yep. Right where I left it. <laughs> That got me fired up, dude. She was mad. She was real mad. Were you videoing all of her? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guarantee you they'll see it. We can hear it. Yeah, that was cool. She was yipping and yelping. Just wouldn't stop. That was cool. At least we got some action today. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> so basically, we're going to get the decoys out there real quick. Hopefully, they don't see us. Then we're going to call. They'll see the decoys and hopefully walk down the road and give us a shot. What I have put on. Uh, hold on, real quick. Let me look. Let's look. These steps I've put on today. Oh, where's that? At? Fifteen thousand steps so far. It's four thirty. We've been getting at it. Yeah, and I found I found an extra energy drink in the rover. Go, oh, so we have, sweet, I got two of them. <laughs> no, yeah. there's an extra one. What do you got, a burrito? Where'd you yeah. get that? Freezer, you want one? The birds old burritos or my mama's old burritos? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Four months, three months old. <laughs> yeah, no, they're good. Well, it's the next day. Uh, between the time of us getting home last night and this morning, Gerald found 24 ticks on himself. Yep, it uh, makes you itch all over. Are those the little, what they call little deer ticks? I don't know. I, I think so. They're tiny. They're like the size of a little ballpoint pen. And Dude, that's nasty. It's gross. 24. It's gross. He had to have got them by sitting by that one tree. Because other than that, we all sat in the same spots. Yeah, I had zero. Zero? I've, I've found zero. Oh, hold on, you got one on your face. So, I'm kidding. <laughs> you oh. freak out. Yeah. Right now we'll make Drew check my backside later. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to take the old 410 out again today. Give her a go. No luck yesterday. What do you think about it, Drew? A lot better conditions than yesterday. Yeah. I'm going to chalk a lot of that up to that. A lot more in Because the afternoon, I mean, we saw a lot more birds. They're just in places we couldn't do anything with them, you know? Yeah, a lot more. Turkeys are probably like raptors. They're somewhat extinct, and they don't exist here in central Kansas anymore. And now, 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 at the end of the video, what uh, we will do, I want to tell you something, something that I know, something that I was told, um, not a big excuse, you know I'm good at those, uh, but it's a reason why there isn't turkeys, and it's not the weather, it's not uh, a disease that wiped them out, like COVID or, or avian bird flu or something like that, it is a non-natural occurrence by humans not over hunting i didn't do it either wait till the end of the video and we will go over that and it is the main reason why my area used to have pods of hundreds of turkeys everywhere and now you can't find a darn thing stick around for that explanation but we're going to get on the uh, road and give her another go today get the caffeine in you boy get in in there Ooh.
was the bird. <sighs> been a struggle, it really has. There's never been a year this hard. Ever, ever, ever. Well, other than walking 15 miles yesterday, <laughs> that was our biggest FU we've got so far. Whatever, they gobbled at least twice. Yeah, then we had a farmer come in with a tractor and now he's back there cutting wood. That's what I mean. We finally got one to gobble and the farmer literally drove <laughs> five foot behind your Me, tree. Yeah. Didn't know we were even there, started cutting wood. It's all good. It's all good. Not our birds. Not our, not, uh, <laughs> not, not, not our birds. Wow. Only two in the area. When you, yeah, literally only two in the area. When you think it's going good, something freakish like that happens. What the heck? Well, back at home. Who would have known, right? Uh, so yesterday was opener. Uh, today, obviously, we had zero luck yet again. Um, how many miles, roughly, I mean, do you think we put, we drove the past two days? Uh, my guess is probably, like Gerald said, probably 500. Um, I'd say probably 500 or better. 500 or better. I think that's a good guess. Um, any other year, except for last year. Last year over here in my area was very, very, very scarce as well. This year, absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. And, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to say what I'm about to say with, full confidence but here it goes i'm just going to repeat what was told to me uh by the man himself that does the work that i'm about to tell you and no this is not my excuse for not shooting a bird this is just trying to justify why in the world there is not any turkey so i think it's about the only excuse we can come up with i mean it can't help things yeah, it's definitely not helping anything. Right. But, I mean, there's got to be a lot of other factors. I mean, being dry is not helping anything either. We're you know. really dry. Right. So, I mean, not only what you're going to talk about, but you got to factor in just pure, like, natural events. Being dry is hard on, you know, raising birds, new birds. Having just a place to, you know, places to breed and to and a nest and raise these young birds. Get a drink. Get a drink of water, stay alive. Look at all the big ponds, like the last one we went by up here, yeah. that big roost dry. Like right. Gerald said, I've lived here for, I mean, I, that's been a goose and duck yeah. roost for, I don't know, I've been looking ever. at it for 10, 12 or more years, right. and it's never right. ever looked like that. Right. Dry. Right. And off topic, but even just that changed a lot, like as far as like what we do professional wise. Yeah noticed a huge change in bird patterns and behavior from so i mean if it if it affects other game that much too just one pond yeah what's it going to do to the birds that live here all year round like yeah. turkeys yeah they're going to move deer they're going to move other, out of the area yeah. right they're going to move out of the area to other areas that do have the water like sheet water they're out west i uh, always talk about wing chasers they've been slaying them out there they slay every single season and i think their populations are much better for two reasons. They have the water, they have more water, they are dry, but they have way more water than we do. And here's the number one reason. So long story short, um, last year, my daughter Harper, all you know her, uh, she turned seven. We had a big birthday party here at my place, big inflatables, pool, da 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 da. Anyways, got to uh, talking to a guy. Uh, his daughter was here, friends with my daughter. And I was like, what do you do? And he was like, I, I work for wildlife and parks. And uh, I'm like, oh, are you a game warden? He's like, no, absolutely not. He was like, I just do a lot of uh, the turkey management here in my county and throughout the state, really. He's kind of head over it. He's, a, he's kind of the official over them turkeys. And uh, long story short, basically... Uh, Larned, Kansas, you can look up on your map where that's at. It's uh, 
southwest Kansas, south southwest Kansas. Um, around that area and Panhandle of Texas and all this stuff, they've been dry for a long time and their turkey numbers have completely gotten wiped out because of being dry. Long-term droughts, no water. So what they do, our county in uh, specific, uh, they robbed us. They took all of our birds, they netted them, they trapped them by the hundreds and hundreds at a time, 50 at a time, 200 at a time, 100 at a time, 300 in one day, and they moved them all down there. Now, I ask, and you probably ask, why did they do it so so much in one area? That's my question, is why, I'm, I'm sure they did it in other areas, you know what I mean? Like, I'm sure they did it in other areas. Right. But I think they really, really tore our yeah. population down. Yeah. It doesn't make sense that they would take that many numbers. Like, I understand you probably had a, you had a good population, but to affect it that much, which, like I said, I think you put that in with other natural factors is really now starting to show itself. It's really shown yeah. itself. And they didn't do all this in one year. They, they've they been doing this every year. And I think now the last two years, like Drew said, it's really, 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 really showing face. Now we're seeing, man, where'd the turkeys go? Man, there's two here. There used to be a group of 100 here every year. Uh, man, there's none here. There used to be 50 here every single day, whether it was turkey season or not. You know what I mean? So... They do do these things, uh, wildlife management, this is what it is. Um, at first we were blaming it on outfitting and, you know, oh man, I think they should knock it from two turkeys in the state down to one, you know, to save our population. No, no, they're relocating these bad boys and it sucks. People like me, this is my hometown, I never had to drive 500 miles to shoot a stupid turkey. They're not stupid by no means. They showed us that today and yesterday. But uh, it's never been this hard, especially Gerald, Drew. They, they've been turkey hunting way longer than me. And it's unreal how hard the last two days have been. So basically, we're throwing in the towel. I'm uploading this video to show you guys that um, it's not always killing. And we always say that. It's hunting. But there's some factors of why this year your boy didn't get a video up of opening day with a gobbler on the ground. This is the first year. Isn't that crazy? And it goes to show, you know, a lot of this wildlife management, it's out of our hands. It's not our fault. The drought, not our fault. I'm sure there's some other factors in there. Could be coyotes. Could be a lot of things. But badgers, uh, robin eggs or whatever. The, the, the list could go on and on, honestly. With drought, animals get more desperate. Who knows? So predators will be predators as well. So that's my two cents. And by excuse, I'm sticking to it because that's all I got at this point. What are we going to do now? I don't know. Probably take a nap. You're going to take a nap? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go put this video up. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure tomorrow, though, we'll be back at it. Don't think we're throwing in the towel and just giving up. Uh, we're going to go out east uh, where we went last year. A lot of you were there with us. Um, and we're going to go out to Preston's properties. He has turkeys galore. Hopefully, uh, we haven't scouted it, but there's always turkeys out there. So be looking out. I still have to, have to get one down with my 410 pump. Never shot a turkey with the old 410, and it's got to happen. Oakley, are you going to go in with Dad and take a nap? Mm. <laughs> look, look, she spiked right up. She said, really? Let's go. I'm sure she's sick of a truck, too. Yeah. That, the, the cab of that truck started getting real smelly. Mm -hmm. All four of us in there. Yeah, shower might have to happen too. <laughs> Gerald picked 24 ticks off of him this morning and last night. Yeah. Subscribe if you guys have not. I hope you guys are having better luck than we are with the gobbler situations. Uh, but until next time.